let's talk about our CPU, specifically the instruction register. The instruction register is a pretty vital part of our CPU, but what does it actually do? It holds the instruction or thing we want to do, which is 4 bits, and the memory address, which represents some memory we want to manipulate, whether it be to add or subtract or whatever. Now this is also 4 bits. Like everything else, the information we need to hold comes from the bus. It's an 8-bit bus, so we have two groups of 4 bits, the perfect size. Now we can set one group, the X group, to represent our memory address, then the second group, the Y group, to be our actual instruction. Now note how that because it's only 4 bits, we can only have a maximum of 2 to the 4, or 16 possible instructions. Now for the actual register. The 4x values, or memory address bits, come from the bus and go into a register to be stored. The output of this register connects back to the bus. This is because our MAR for the RAM module is connected to the bus, so we transport our data through the bus. The second group, the Y values, or the instruction, come from the bus and goes into a register. This register outputs to another module we'll talk about later called the instruction decoder. This does exactly what you think it'd do. It takes the bit values of the instruction and says, well, what does this mean and what do we actually have to do? As for the other lines, the two registers' clocks are connected together as well as their load lines. The clear line of the memory address register is connected to ground so it never clears. As for the other registers clear, it's up to us whether we want to clear it or not. We'll control the enable for the top register, but the bottom register will always output because we can decide in the instruction decoder whether or not we want to use the instruction, so we can just tie it low so that we have one less line to worry about. To recap again, this top register is for the memory address while the bottom is for the instruction. Now here is our actual instruction register. These yellow lines are the outputs that will go to the instruction decoder we'll build later. The black line is the clear signal for the instruction register. The blue line is the clock for both registers. The white wire is our load enable line for both registers. The orange wire is the push enable line for the memory address register. Because remember, the instruction register has its push enable line always tied low. This LED array is going to tell us what is on the bus. Now we're going to do the same thing for this LED array as we have been doing for the rest of them. The first four bits will be the rightmost four, then we skip the two middle, and then the leftmost will be our last four bits. Now I think I'll put the instruction decoder over here because we have extra room, but that depends on how big it actually ends up being. Now there really isn't a need to test this circuit because the output is exactly the input, so not really interesting. So please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see more like this. My name is Akil Mohudin and I will catch you guys later.